Did you know there is a micronation which declared independence from the US in 1982 known as the Contra Republic? If you're in search of a vacation destination with beautiful nature, fun parties, unique culture, and a tropical climate, you should definitely visit the Florida Keys. Today we will show you not only this unique place, but also one of the most spectacular roads in the world, a town of wooden buildings that never sleeps, and a national park in the middle of the ocean. Welcome to our new video on the channel. The Florida Keys are a group of some 1,700 islands, stretching in an arc from Miami to Key West. These islands are exactly that, Keys. Formed on the surface of a coral reef, they are low-lying and their natural environment consists of mangroves, tropical beaches, and rich marine life. Each key is unique and has its own personality. However, on almost all of them, you can enjoy a great atmosphere, diving, sailing, and gourmet food. We have whole fried snapper, we have uh, mahi, we have wahoo, also we have scallop. The daunting task of connecting the Florida Keys was first undertaken by Henry Flagler, who built a railroad between them to promote tourism in the state of Florida. The line began operating in 1912, but was badly damaged during a hurricane in 1935. Three years later, as part of an economic recovery program during the Great Depression, the Roosevelt administration built Route 1, or the Overseas Highway on top of the damaged railroad. The result was one of the most scenic and spectacular highways in the world with breathtaking bridges and views of an endless coastline as well as a great place to fish. What do you fish here? Mangrove snapper, mutton snapper, yellowtail snapper, whatever is biting here really. Right now the yellowtail and Cuban snapper are biting well. Is this a good place to fish? Yes, it is. There's a lot of good places to fish around here. There are also a lot of secret places that no one knows about, where the bite is very good, but people never reveal such place and keep their secrets. And can you advise us something to have a good bite? Well, I would suggest using live bait. To catch good fish, it's best to use live bait. The highway ends at the picturesque island of Key West. From the moment we arrived, we couldn't stop smiling. This small city is a mixture of Caribbean sea colors, American music, the aromas of Creole cuisine, and lots of rum. In this perpetual summer, the only concern is to enjoy the present. The architecture of Key West has a very attractive colonial style. The houses and buildings are mostly made of wood and painted in bright colors, and there are tropical trees and plants everywhere. The atmospheric town with a population of only 25,000 people attracts about 3 million tourists a year who often return here again and again. It was precisely the income from tourism that led to the territory's peculiar independence. In 1982, the federal government set up a customs checkpoint on Route 1, causing tourists and residents to face huge traffic jams day in and day out. In response, Key West Mayor Dennis Wardlow declared the island's independence and founded the Conch Republic, a tongue-in-cheek joke. But the joke caught on, and the Conch Republic became somewhat of an icon. The people began celebrating their newfound independence with parades and festivals festivals and even created a national guard and expanded the territory to all the islands. Today, the Conch Republic is a symbol of the rebellious spirit of the people of this land and, by the way, it has also become a good source of income thanks to tourists. On the afternoon of our first day on Key West, we went on one of the most popular excursions, the Sunset Sail. These excursions usually last about two hours and are operated by catamarans or sailing boats from which you can watch the sunset in the Gulf of Mexico. Many include free drinks and live music and are a fun way to enjoy Key West from another perspective. Yeah. 
The next day, we went on another amazing excursion to Dry Tortugas National Park. The park is located 120 kilometers west of Key West in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, so it's not easy to get there. You can either get there on your boat or by seaplane, or you can join a day trip departing from the port of Key West, which is what we did. Consisting of several coral islands surrounded by crystal clear waters, this national park is a lost treasure in the western Florida Keys. It is a paradise full of sea turtles, sharks, rays and dolphins. One of the park's main attraction is Fort Jefferson, an impressive 19th century fortification located on the main island. parts about this national park is the fort that's surrounding us right now. And I hope you don't think that this is your average size fort. This is a massive fortification. This is actually the third largest of the third system of fortifications built by the United States during the 1800s. Not only is this the third largest fort that our country built, it is also the most powerful fortification the United States built. The fact that we're out here in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico, I think that makes it a little bit intriguing as well. And if you're just willing to take one additional step with me, and consider for a few minutes what it would have been like to try to build something like this all the way out here back then. I think it really becomes an amazing story for us. The group of islands have no fresh water. Though it has been a haven for mariners for centuries, the islands provided them with a vital food resource, turtles, hence their name, dry tortugas from the Spanish. In addition, these islands played another important role. Being in such an isolated spot, you can't help but wonder why President Jefferson felt the need to build an 180,000 square meter construction surrounded by walls three meters high in such a remote location, especially considering it's a 30 years to build. The reason is that it's the only deep water port in the area, so the fort served to protect important trade routes from attacks by pirates and privateers. Most unexpected things about mornings on Key West is the constant crowing of roosters. These birds arrived here with Cuban immigrants in the 19th century. Over time, they multiplied and are now an integral part of the city's daily life. They're a kind of unofficial mascot of the island, which everyone loves. Every year, there's even a festival devoted to these animals here called Fantasy Fest, where costume contests are held and the roosters' presence in the city is honored. Thank you very much.
Is there any town, village, or exotic island which the famous writer Ernest Hemingway has not been to? Well, he's lived in Key West too, so a visit to his residence is a popular excursion that we didn't want to miss. Hemingway moved to Key West in 1931 in search of a quiet place to finish writing A Farewell to Arms, and ended up living here for eight years. The author said that Key West was unlike any other place he had ever been to, and was the best place in the world at any time of the year. His house built in the 1850s is an architectural gem of the period, yet it isn't the building that attracts the most visitors, but the polydactyl cats. Hemingway had a pet cat with more toes than normal, and its descendants, about 40 of them, still live here. Many of them have six or seven toes on their paws, and are one of the biggest attractions in Key West. the trip we visited one of the best bars in the harbor, the Half Shell Raw Bar, a very popular place that opened in the 70s. At our place most often people order seafood, such as oysters, shrimp, and also fish, all of them which are very delicious here. There are many other establishments along the docks that offer menus of the day, which, as you may have guessed, change depending on the day's catch. It's the perfect place to mingle with locals and tourists, as well as gather some energy before the return trip. Well, it's time to move on, so we say goodbye until next week. Thank you for watching this video till the end. If you've liked it and want to help us out, please give us a like, share it with your friends, and click on the bell. Thank you so much and see you soon, travelers from around the world.